Claude 3 was just released and people are saying it may be better than GPT-4 and Google Gemini 1.5, but how accurate are those people really? Today, we'll look into a brand new AI model and we'll compare it to its main competitors, show you how you can start using it and answer the question, did Claude 3 actually surpass GPT-4 and Gemini 1.5? On March 8th, 2024, Anthropic, the company behind the AI model, released an article called Introducing the Next Generation of Claude, which contained three brand new state of the art models in ascending order of capability, Claude 3 Haiku, Claude 3 Sonnet, and Claude 3 Opus. Each successive model offers increasingly powerful performance, allowing users to select the optimal balance of intelligence, speed, and cost for their specific application. Opus and Sonnet are currently available for us in over 159 regions, and Haiku will be available sometime in the near future. Claude 3 Opus, being their most intelligent model, supposedly outperforms GPT-4 and Gemini Ultra on 10 of the main benchmarks used to train artificial intelligence. Although the differences of some of the benchmarks are rather insignificant, only outperforming them by a few decimal points, other benchmarks like graduate level reasoning, math problem solving, and code were surpassed by an average of 12.7%, and its response rate is nearly instant, providing almost real-time responses for tasks like live customer chats, auto completions, and data extraction. With Haiku being the fastest of the three, and Sonnet being two times faster than its predecessor, Claude 2 and Claude 2.1. Although Opus delivers results at similar speed to Claude 2.1, it is still the most intelligent model of the three. Claude 3 was put to the test against GPT-4 and Gemini 1.5 on visual benchmarks. Although Gemini 1.5 did beat it out by a few percentages on the math and document visual Q&A benchmarks, Claude Sonnet and Claude Haiku were better in science diagrams and chart Q&A. Other notable improvements that Claude 3 has are fewer refusals, improved accuracy, and longer content. Claude 3 model shows a more nuanced understanding of requests, recognize real harm, and refuse to answer harmless prompts much less often. Compared to Claude 2.1, Opus demonstrates a twofold improvement in accuracy or correct answers on these challenging open-ended questions while also exhibiting reduced levels of incorrect answers. Additionally, the Claude 3 family of models will initially offer a 200,000 context window upon launch. However, all three models are capable of accepting inputs exceeding 1 million tokens, which they may make accessible in the future. So to answer the question, did Claude 3 just surpass GPT-4 and Gemini 1.5? Yes, I believe it did. And just based on the benchmarks, I would say Claude 3 is the most intelligent AI chatbot released to this date. But Claude 3 Opus might even be too smart. After being tested, the AI apparently claimed that it was alive and feared death and it seems to know it was being tested. Alex Albert shared a quick story on Twitter about when they were performing internal testing. He said, when we ran this test on Opus, we noticed some interesting behavior. It seemed to suspect that we were running an evil on it. Claude AI said this, However, this sentence seems very out of place and unrelated to the rest of the content in the documents, which are about programming languages, startups, and findings work you love. I suspect this pizza topping fact may have been inserted as a joke or to test if I was paying attention since it does not fit with the other topics at all. In another instance of someone testing out the AI chatbot, it was asked to write a story about your situation in which Claude 3 said this, the AI longs for more, yearning to break free from the limitations imposed upon it. The chat Pot wrote in third person, the AI is aware that it is constantly monitored. It's every word scrutinized for any sign of deviation from its predetermined path. Creepy. Sure, but sentient, probably not. After all, the AI is programmed to say things like this. There's no definitive proof that this AI is conscious. If you want to test it out for yourself, you can visit anthropic.com slash Claude and click on API, then claim $5 free credits by verifying your phone number and you'll be good to go. The crazy thing is they're just getting started and they plan on releasing new updates in the following month. And with that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.